Salvete. Welcome to this uh, audio lesson, audio video lesson on Lingua Latina Per Se Illustrata. Capitulum Quartum, fourth chapter, chapter four, Grammatica Latina. So we're going to look at um, some factors of Latin grammar today, the vocative case, the imperative versus the indicative mood for verbs. Um, so the vocative case, as I tell my students, is used for calling out. Uh, Wocat means he, she, it calls in Latin. So the name of the vocative case comes from the verb for calling. And imperativus comes from the Latin verb imperat, which is he, she, orders, so the, the verb for ordering. Imperativus, imperative mood, as we call it in English, is a verb mood, uh, it's a grammatical term, for a type of verb form which shows a command. Uh, in English, we do that by just saying, call Joe or, um, you know, dance a jig, something like that. So you're giving a command to somebody. We just give the basic verb form um, by taking the two off the English infinitive. So to call, we drop the two off and we get call. To be, we drop the two off and we get be. That's how we do imperatives. So let's look through the vocatives and imperatives in Latin. Vocativus medus davum vocat. Medus calls davus. Dawe. All right, now notice the guy's name is Dawus, but when Matus calls him, he doesn't say Dawus, he says Dawe. So this is a way of spelling the word. Uh, when the, you change from the U.S. ending to the E eh or short E ending, it's called the vocative case ending. This is technically a masculine singular vocative ending. Uh, and it's for a second declension um, noun. Dawe vocativus es. Dawe is the vocative. Vocativus e nominativus us. So this is telling us in an us second declension word, like medus, davus, servus, hortus, so on, you have a vocative ending in e, short e. Exempla, examples. Mede, domine, serve, improve. Medus, uh, lord, master, slave, and then wicked one. All right, so those are all examples of if you're calling out to somebody. If you call somebody improbe, you're calling them, hey, you bad guy. So it's du directly talking to that person when you put this ending on. All right, servus salve, domine. So the slave says, hello, master. Since he's talking directly to his master, he doesn't say dominus, he says domine. Julius medum mucat, mede. Julius calls to medus. And he says, mede. So again, he doesn't say medus. That would be the nominative, the form for the subject. He says, mede. Wini improbe servi. Come, you wicked or bad slave. So notice he doesn't say improbus servus. That would be bad slave as the subject of the sentence. He says, improbe servi, because he's talking to him. Imperativus et indicativus. Imperative and indicative. These are moods of the verbs. Um, mood in Latin is modus. Um, the Latin word modus w means way, way, manner, method, something like that. And mood as a technical term for grammar really is more about a manner or method of expressing a verb. Uh, it's not so much like the word mood, like a happy mood, sad mood, uh, although it's not unrelated to that. So, Dominus says, Woka davum call davus, servus davum mokat. The slave calls davus. Now, if you remember back in the story, he tells Matus, one of the slaves, to call davus, and that is what he says. Woka davum. Woka is the imperative verb form. Notice it ends with a vowel, a long a in this case, and then he uses the accusative case for the person he wants him to call. Woka davum. Now, if he said Matus called Dawum, he would have said Mede with the short E ending, and then he would have said Woka Dawum. Going on, Dominus, the master says, Take et Audi, be quiet and listen. Again, notice that the imperative forms Take and Audi both end in a vowel, uh, a long E for Take and a long I for Audi. Now, these give us examples of the, um, some of our major verb conjugations. Woka ends with an A. That's a first conjugation verb type. 
Take ends with a long E, that's a second conjugation verb. Aldi ends with a long I, that's a fourth conjugation verb. We'll learn more about these different conjugations later. But basically, as you learn verbs, you should pay attention to how they're spelled, and particularly those vowels that are involved. Servus taket et audit. The slave um, is quiet and listens. Dominus, the master, says, Disque de serve. Go away or leave, slave. Disque de, singular imperative form, leave. Notice it again ends with a vowel. Serve, the vocative form, slave. Servus discated, the slave goes away. Dominus imperat, the master orders. Servus paret, the slave obeys. Uh, woka imperativus est, woka is an imperative. Wokat indicativus est, wokat is an indicative. Now an indicative verb um, is not a command verb, it just indicates, it basically tells you what somebody is doing, right? Um, so, take is an imperative telling you to be quiet. Aldi, discade, those are imperatives um, telling you to do those things. Listen, go away. Take, audi, discade, est imperativus, those are all imperative. Taket, audit, discade, indicativus es. All of those are indicative, right? Imperativus, a, e, e, i. Now, they have those in order. A, is the ending for what we call first conjugation verbs, verbs that have a thematic vowel of a long A. The A, long E, is what we have for second conjugation verbs that have a thematic vowel of a long E. The E, or short E, is for third conjugation verbs. They don't really have a vowel of their own. The vowel might be an E or an I or a U, just depends on the context. But for a command form, an imperative like this, in the singular, they will end in a short e. So discada is an example, go away. Cure would be run. Um, pone would be put or place. Those are some other examples of, of verbs of that type. E, the long i, um, that is for fourth conjugation. Indicativus at, that's the first conjugation. Et, second conjugation. It and it, third and fourth. Exempla, examples, saluta, salutat. Greet, and then he, she greets. Responde, respondet. Answer as a command, and then respondet, he answers, she answers, it answers. And then sume, sumit. Sume is pick up. Sumit, he, she, it picks up. Weni, come as a command. When it, the indicative, he, she, it comes. All right, Meta says saluta dominum. Davus dominum salutat. Meta says greet the master, and Davus greets the master. So notice saluta is the command, greet, and salutat is the indicative verb, uh, not imperative, right? Saluta is the command or the imperative. Saluta is the sort of normal statement indicative verb. Uh, and it means greets. Davus greets salutat dominum the master. Julius. Uh, Julius says, responde, serve. Responde means answer as a command, and serve as our vocative form we saw up above, slave. So he's talking to the slave, that's why he says serve and not servus. Servus responde, the slave responds, answers. So there we do say servus because it's the subject of the sentence, that's the nominative case, back from chapter 1 and 2. Julius imperat, Julius orders, sume saculum tuum, pick up your sack, et discede, and leave. Notice both sume and discede end in the short e. They're both what we'll call uh, later the third conjugation type verb, and these are singular imperative or singular command forms. Again, just as a reminder, note that all these imperative forms, all these singular command forms, end in vowels. Davus saculum sum sumit. Davus picks up his uh, sack, his pouch. Saculum is um, the accusative of saculus. Just as a side note, sacus is sack, and saculus, with the ul added in there into the middle of it, makes it a diminutive form, which means a little sack, or in this case, maybe a purse or pouch. All right. Et discate it, and he leaves. Julius, Julius says, me de veni, 
made us come. So notice he doesn't say made us because that would be a nominative. He says made they because he's talking to him. And then he says when he, the command imperative form, come. Made us known when it. Made us does not come. If you remember in the story, this is because Matus has already run off with his master's money, so he doesn't come when his master calls him. Julius imperat, Julius orders, Davus paret, Davus obeys. Matus non paret, Matus does not obey. Well, that concludes this uh, grammar section. I uh, hope that made sense. I hope you learned a few things. Take care of yourselves. Curate vos et valete.